on that. Um, again, I've been told that 24, 38 hours is the same um, is the same amount of time that it will take not only to integrate BTC Bitcoin, but also the leaderboard page. So the leaderboard, you'll be able to see exactly um, who the number one is, you know, who the number two is, who the number three is. You can see each individual wallet on that on that leaderboard page to see who's sacrificed the most, whether that be Safu, whether that be Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, whatever. That's the leaderboard page. So that should also not only um, it kind of acts as more of a motivator and, um, you know, for people who do want to be the top and want to be the biggest whale and they they basically, um, uh, well, that's what it's for, yeah. Um, so it's kind of like a challenge, you know, for those people that want to be the best and the biggest, really. Um, and then, the, so you've got the BTC that needs to be integrated, you've got the leaderboard that needs to be integrated, and then the third is the transaction um, page on the D app. So the same URL, the app.safux.com, right? All this is going to be on the same thing. And you'll be able to access not only the leaderboard and BTC, but then also the transaction page where you'll be able to um, basically plug in your exact wallet address or anyone's wallet address for that reason, for that matter. Um, and you'll be able to see what transactions have occurred on that wallet in terms of sacrifice. So if you've sacrificed, let's say, Ethereum um, and, um, and then you've sacrificed BNB after, whether that be in the first minute, whether that be an hour, whether that be spread across the next 30 days, whatever transactions you've done, you'll be able to see what you've sacrificed, so the amount that you've actually got back in terms of conversion, the price that you got at. Um, so you better see all that in your wallet. So that's currently not active. So that's why people are, are kind of up in arms a little bit and wondering, well, do I really have my safe for X or where the hell is it? The answer is, well, we need to create the leaderboard and that transaction um, page as well. So let's hope that that, um, when I say hope, like I've been told that 24, 38 hours is what the expectation is. Um, whether or not that gets delayed a little bit more, um, just know that we're working tirelessly for you guys um, as a team to make sure that we deliver on what we've said we would deliver. You've got to understand this is this is technology, you know, things we can, you know, we hope that, you know, we we, we put all our ducks in, in order, all in line, and we say, look, here's what we're going to do. Sometimes things happen that we cannot foresee, okay? Um, but it's how the team acts and manages that is the, the most important. So it's not like we've just totally went dark or MIA, MIA and we're not doing anything. That's not the case, guys. We're here working to make sure this gets done. I wanted, obviously, to be done yesterday. Yes, I'm, a, I'm you know, I'm pissed off actually with the way things have happened you know i wanted it to be managed better but you know we've we've just got to use the tools um that we have and the resources that we have to pull through um this little bit of a delay okay that's all it is it's just a slight delay um but just trust that yes we will have btc active active we will have the leaderboard there and we will have the uh the transaction wallet page there so you can so you better know that your sacrifices went through successfully. So for now, just understand that, um, and I'll um, I'll open it up to Jason. Um, Jason, do you want to do you want to speak? Yeah. Hey, mate. Can you uh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Everything's fine. Go. Oh, good. That's all right. For some reason, um, I'm just using it on my phone, so it's not doing loudspeaker or anything. It's kind of like just normal on the like normal speaker speaker. But yeah, basically, I think you summarized everything um, very, very well. Um, it's been absolutely crazy. I've just tried to jump on Discord, have a little chat with people. It's um, obviously everyone wants to know everything right that very second. And even holding a, a general conversation with somebody is extremely hard. Um, in terms of, you know, general feedback of what people have maybe thought is happening, we're certainly not sitting on a little um, island sipping on cocktails while we just watch all this play out. Like, it's literally, like, been working nonstop um, around the base, just talking to everybody in terms of talking, just like the nodes, talking to the development team. That's our job, um, to make sure that everything is going smoothly in that case. Uh, once we know information that we can feed out directly to the community, and it's 100% set in stone, then we do so, like we always have done. Um, so if we're quiet, it just means we're working effectively. Um, 
yeah, but don't know what much more I can add to that per se. It's uh, it's just obviously it's um, just like Nick said on the on the stage in the AMA that um, security is key. That is uh, the biggest biggest thing. There's no point. Um, and and somebody said as well. They go, oh well, we're just um, you know, looked at security the last second. No, that's not the case. It's just a it's one of the biggest things that, especially when you're dealing with what at the moment, $18 million worth of transactions, it's like, that is not something that you can compromise or fix later on. Um, so that is and one of the things worth- um, al- alongside with certain, certain technical implications, which are extremely difficult. And it's not a simple little D app that can just be done overnight by a bunch of devs, you know, this is months of work in progress, and um, and and so far, I, I would I would say, you know, although it's been disappointing compared to what we want, it is still a huge achievement to what we've done. If we were to compare it to anything else that's been done recently in the last five years, um, it's all been Web two solutions, so not on chain. Whereas this is a Web Web three solution. So everything will be visible and managed on chain. Um, So a Web2 solution is obviously a lot easier, but it requires a lot more trust um, from the back and forth between like the the team and us. Uh, Whereas this is is a lot more transparency. Yeah, so I think it's important that everyone kind of understands as well, is even though things could have been done possibly better, and, and yes, I would have liked them to be a lot more smoother, We've still had over 18.5 million, and I haven't checked it in the last half an hour. It's probably probably over 19 million at the moment, but let's just go with 18.6 because that's what I saw. 18.6 million already sacrificed within the first 22 hours of us launching that D app. So if that doesn't already shout success, then I don't know what does. Like if it was only a million or something, then possibly you know we'd be in a worse position. But over 18 million, that's nothing to to sneeze at, guys. It's a huge amount of sacrifices, and that's only the first 22 hours. We've still got 29 days to go. It's a full month of sacrificing. So who knows what that number is going to be up at once we've actually got BTC activated so people can sacrifice that and we've got the leaderboard and we've got the transaction page where everyone will feel a lot more comfortable in knowing that things are working and they can actually see the transactions that they've already sacrificed, that they can see that, hey, yeah, they've actually got that. It's on the blockchain. It's recorded. Once they've actually got faith and trust in that, which I think will be 24 hours, then I'm pretty sure what I'm assuming is then the sacrifices will pick up a lot more than what we've already experienced in the first 24 hours. Um, so, yeah, just, uh, just you know, trust us, guys. Trust that the team's here. Um, as you see, I'm, I'm here. Jason's here. We're not sipping on cocktails like Jason said. We're, we're literally stressing even more <laughs> than what the community is. Like, we want this to be going th- through smooth that that's all i can say all right and um, we've delivered everything that we have up until this point there is no reason at all to think that we're not going to be delivering going forward so um i've got a, we've got a few just questions jump here in on that as well too um, yeah, go for it. in terms of going forward right what a lot of people have got to understand is that at the moment there's no actual test net up that people can see. They can't physically see the development that's actually already been done. Um, January 20th, in my opinion, is like, I've always said, and this in conversation, like in just like, while we're having breakfast with Brian or something like that, I would imagine this being seven and a half to 10% of the actual transaction flow based on January 20th. January 20th is a completely different ball game because you've had Testnet going for a month, you're going to have, you know, our conversations come to fruition of everything that we've done in terms of exchanges and partnerships come in, you know, it's actually going to be a real physical thing. So this is this opportunity that people have right now is literally entry level. So not everyone knows about, you know, October 20th, um, only the people within our community, the people that have seen our Twitter, the people that have seen our YouTube, the people that have been to our expos, but you can't say that like a trillion people around the world even know that it exists. Uh, I was speaking to a person on the plane and he goes, oh, wow, that's freaking massive. This is huge what you're doing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, they didn't know until we had that conversation. 
So I wouldn't be thinking at all that this is the be all and end all of whatever this result is. This is just literally the the absolute tiny like single percentage uh, percentage differences of what is going to happen in the future. Um, and if you don't think that, then you need to reevaluate that yourself because it's the case. As soon as you have something real and done, then there are people going, oh, well, there's a new blockchain. Oh, wow, what's this? And they want to get involved in that, just like everyone could if they knew about Ethereum at this very start, or they knew about Solano, they knew about Avalanche, so on and so forth. Um, and word spreads f much more and now that this has started um, with our 18 odd million, um, it's only going to progressively, even though the, the bonuses get less, there's going to be no bonus on January, on, on January 20th or when this gets launched. Do you think people aren't going to buy? You know, it just doesn't make sense. You don't think people are going to utilize the blockchain and, and still have the apps are just going to give up now? That's definitely not the case. So uh, we just need to consider ourselves uh, and, and you guys, obviously, the people who are participating as part of the community, to be thankful that, you know, that we've, we've actually worked so hard to create something. Bro, are you there? Uh, hi, everyone. Hey, hey, mate, how are you? Hi, I just uh, first wanted to thank you all for the amazing job you did uh, yesterday. That was incredible. Uh, yeah. it, there is a lot of project that the, doesn't pull through. They, they give a date, but uh, they report it like months, months after. And people don't realize how fast you guys managed to fix the errors. Um, that was uh, my first concern. The, the, other, uh, the other point I wanted to talk about was could you guys maybe consider uh, doing a thing like you take the um, highest price of the day and you give you give the same the same amount of staff weeks uh, to every guy on the um, and that sacrifice that day yeah that's 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 a really good question and that's exactly what my thoughts were um this morning no we haven't created an official announcement yet because we're still obviously te working through the teething issues to making sure that everything is as smooth as possible. So, you know, for anyone that's been part of this community for the last seven, nearly eight months now, they know that I will always put my best foot forward in making sure that everyone receives the best that they can. So yes, that my answer is yes, um, that that's what I wanna do um, and have the best price of the day, which was yesterday, I believe at 68 cents, being awarded to literally everyone because some people did wanna sacrifice at the highest point, but they had, at, you know issues whether it took them like three or four hours to to get through a sacrifice because of trust wallet issues or whatever it is so that's something that we shouldn't you know we, we need to be accountable as a team for not allowing that facility um to go through right so so my answer is yes so we'll take the highest price of yesterday which i believe is 68 cents it might be 69 i'll have to check that and then we'll just award that across the board for anyone who, who got in, whether it be the first minute or whether it be, you know, an hour ago. So, yeah, we'll do that. We'll make sure everyone's um, a bit more happy with that. <laughs> um, and then um, it's, it's all about reassuring um, investors right now on this conversation is making sure that everyone's got the confidence that our team is still here. We're delivering and we are, you know, giving back the 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 best result that we can um, and then hopefully by this time tomorrow we'll have BTC integrated and we'll have the leaderboard and also that wallet checker um, platform available there as well. So yeah, good question Terminator and uh, my answer is yes. Thanks a lot to answering that question. Just, I think a lot of people were uh, asking that same question and uh, I'm happy to see that you really care. You really care about what uh, the people think about it. And I think the, the highest price I've seen is 70 cents, but I'm not sure. Yeah, so it's, I, I'm just I on that, that too, like, um, close to that. Just on that as well, yeah, I just wanted to touch real quickly in terms of legalities, right? So like, there was a person that said something on the um, on the on the normal chat when I was just there before, and they said, "Oh, we're going to arrange like a community buy, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do that." You know, there's a there's a very fine line between like what we can do and what we can say in terms of 
Um, we, we don't support market manipulation, um, encouraging people as groups to do whale buys or anything like that. Um, all we can do in terms of legality is say what we're going to do and when we're going to do it. So if we're saying we're delayed and we're going to do this on at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time or whatever it is, then that's the information we can give. We can never say to you guys, oh, you know, go create a group and do a big, giant, massive pump and, you know, people miss out. In terms of, like, looking after investors and being accountable for our mistakes, you know, or, you know, shortcomings of what we decided to do in terms of that, I think that's, you know, that that is opposite. That is not market manipulation per se. That's just coming out, it's effectively, is coming out of, the uh, protocol's pocket um, to make sure, or Brian's pocket, or whoever, however that works, in order to ensuring that you know the people that are participating in this aren't short stacked against them. So it's just, which is just something to be aware of and be cautious of. You know, if somebody says to me, "I'm going to organise a group, and we're, there's going to be a bunch of whales, and we want to pump the price to a dollar fifty, that means nothing to me. Like. You guys do what you do, but we're not involved in any form of market manipulation. Yep, well, well said. Um, so, Leonard Ferro, you're um, you're on stage. If you have a question or something to say, hey, go for it. Hey, Brian. Yeah, uh, I can completely understand what happened yesterday with respect to the technical problems. Yeah, one of the questions I had was like. Like, obviously, at the end of this month, I'll be getting some money and everything, right? So, I want to I want to sacrifice during that time. So, if I, will Safe will be still be trading for me to buy during that time and get that extra 24% uh, uh, consider yeah, I want to yeah. sacrifice on November 1st. Can I buy yeah, Safe um, that time and, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, so so Safer is still trading. Like it, it's never going to stop trading. Like it, we can't just delete the Safer pancake swap pair or anything like that. It is always going to remain active. But who who wants to buy it or who wants to sell it or who wants to trade it? That's 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 the that's the question there. But will it still be active um, for the next you know 29 days at least with the liquidity pool that we already have? The answer is yes. So we're not taking the liquidity. We're not doing anything for the next 29 days. We just let it run. So the rebasing has stopped since yesterday. I made that formal announcement. That's definitely stopped. So there will be definitely no more rebasing on Safe Food. That has stopped. The auto liquidity pool, which was every 48 hours that the liquidity sells and adds liquidity, there's no there's no need for that to, to be there anymore. Um, so we've removed that component there as well. So Safe Food just sits as more of a kind of like a stable, a stable token, if you will, for, for lack of a better um, frame of um, wording. Um, and people can yeah buy or sell on that liquidity pool for the next 29 days. After once we hit November 20th, then yes, we will take the safe route that's been sacrificed. We'll then um, extract that liquidity that's in the, the liquidity pool in BNB, and then we'll use that for safer X going forward. But for the next 29 days, yeah, feel free to buy or trade or sell safe through whatever you you do want. Um, but there's going to be no. Um, treasury manipulation, I suppose, or, you know, safer insurance fund that's going to go in there or adjust price or sell or take funds or anything like that. It's just going to be basically community-based and, and holder-based. So, yeah, for the next 29 days, you can go for it. Um, if you think, no, I just, you know, I know that tomorrow is going to be a buy. I can buy and sacrifice because safe food, if you sacrifice safe food, you get an extra 24%, right? Yeah, so of I course. Yeah, so you, you can. Correct, correct. Yeah, exactly right. But the, the one thing you've got to understand is even though it's 24% as a bonus, that if you bought right now, then, well, you are paying a 14% buy tax. So you're getting 24% on the other side. So technically, you're only making 10%. But if the price fluctuates like tomorrow of more than 10% down, let's say it goes down by 20%, well, then technically you're losing out. But you're the one as an investor or holder that's taken the risk to buy that safer. But we're not going to be doing anything. It's honestly free market. So that's up to you guys. But the short answer is yes, you can you can, uh, you can, can buy and, and sacrifice a safe food throughout the month. That's fine. Yeah, my plan is to just buy it and just uh, immediately sacrifice so that I get yeah. the price whatever is that time. 
Yeah, and that's what we saw yesterday where Jason mentioned there was a specific pump group of, you know, I don't know, a handful of a number of people who bought Safeco and then immediately sacrificed it. So that's, again, free market. Whatever you guys choose to do is absolutely fine. Yep. Got it. And yeah, I, like the options open think, there for anybody. So if they want to, if they if they feel that they, they themselves want to, you know, do the transaction in a stable coin or BNB or whatever or Bitcoin, like that's entirely up to them how they do it. So like, yeah, if like Brian said, effectively, it's risk versus reward. You know, you could buy it now and it could go up later or it could go down. Whereas if you're transacting with a stable coin, you know what you're getting at that particular time. But there's still always going to be an opportunity to buy, regardless or sacrifice rather, uh, regardless of of what what token you wish to use. Got it. And do you mind adding BUSD for the sacrifice? Just in. What was that again? Sorry. BUSD. Yeah, so the, the, what we offer is a BUSD, which is the stable coin of Binance, um, and then we offer USDT, which is Tether, which you can either use on Binance chain as well as Ethereum, and then we've got USDC, which is only on Ethereum um, that you can use as well. So they're the three stable coins, BUSD, yeah, Tether, and... Over there. That's why I thought, like, was it there or not? It was in the it's definitely in the there. Yeah, so no. so you, you obviously, when, when you connect your wallet, Leonard, when you, or anybody that's listening to this, when you connect your wallet to the DApp, you obviously want to select in MetaMask or, or whatever you're using in Wallet Connect the um, the blockchain that you intend on using. So if you're using Ethereum, then all it's going to, on our DApp, it's going to present you with the Ethereum-based assets, which you can sacrifice. But if you've got the Binance chain allocated, selected, then it's only going to show you the Binance um, assets, which you can sacrifice. So just select the right chain and, and you'll be fine. And then we'll have the, the Bitcoin chain hopefully activated by this time tomorrow as well. Yeah, just on that, if you go to um, like safeux.com forward slash sacrifice, it's got an orange button there. It says sacrifice now, which then takes you to the DApp page. And it has either a, a, like a Safeu to SafeUX or something else to SafeUX. It says select asset. If you click on that, it gives you options. So it says USDC on Ethereum, USDT on Ethereum, BUSD on Ethereum, ETH and BNB. And then once we um, once we work out all the issues in terms of like, because BTC in particular is is a very complicated one because we have to create, as Nick said, we have to create a um, individual wallet for every single transaction that happens on that. So it's not like as simple as just sending money and, and hoping that it works. Not Quabble, how are you? You're on stage, not Quabble. We can't hear you, by the way. Might give not Quabble another few seconds. Sorry, not Cobble. I reckon you're um, you got some technical issues there, buddy. Um, HK name, you're on. Hey, Brian, how are you doing? Could be it could be better, but I'm still doing quite well. <laughs> yeah, what can we do for you? No, I just wanted to say number one, um, thanks so much. Um, I know you guys have been busting ass for uh, yeah, a hell of a long period of time, um, as you probably saw in the um, in the uh, or somebody saw in the chat that uh, you know with I know the, the the type of things you guys were trying to do in terms of you know making this you know Web three and everything like that. There's so much trailblazing, and again, my point was that um, you know obviously I know that this coin and this project and everything is an extension of you, and uh, I believe I believe you value loyalty and you know integrity. Um, you know, to the utmost. So I was, you know, I was very, very, I, you know, I, even when I didn't know what was happening, I have my 100% of my bag now and literally only got about 20 more minutes to sacrifice. Um, but I wanted to say that I knew you were going to do, you know, I, I knew you had a, 
a some type of connection and a pulse with the community, learned from a lot of experiences before, and I knew you were going to do the right thing, which is, you know, very honorable and very, um, you know, very high in integrity that you weren't going to, um, like, even let people, like, when you um, made the decision to, you know, sacrifice, you weren't going to let, you know, anybody who's been there with you and behind you um, because of all the different things that, you know, a lot of it is out of our hands and, you know, it's, 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 it's bumps. But I just wanted to say I knew that you were going to do the, uh, the right thing. And, and that always has been the case. So, um, you know, I, nobody's entitled to anything. It's DeFi, it's crypto, and I get it. I just think, you know, I, I believe you had a pulse and an understanding of, you know, obviously things didn't go a certain way and we could see how people, you know, had, um, you know, some frustrations and some issues and things like that. But I think this type of thing and this type of gesture really looks out for, um, you know, your, uh, it, it really shows your connection and care for people. So I just wanted to say that I don't have a whole lot more time because I still got to find a way to sacrifice, but I wanted to say thank you very much. Ryan. I think he dropped out. Um, no, thank you. We appreciate that. And like the method of which you're, you said that you're trying to um, sacrifice, like what, what are you, are you using a trust wallet or something like that? No, no, my understanding no. is that from um, MetaMask is working quite well. Yeah, yeah, MetaMask is fine. I just haven't done it. I'm just <laughs> like, I was just waiting for something. Ah, I don't know okay. what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, just, I just haven't so done it. So the price has gone down and that's kind of concerned you a little bit. And so that's why you haven't done it yet. Yeah, yeah, and I also wanted, you know, I, I wanted to say too. I understand, you know, your your stance, Jason, about uh, pumps and everything like that. And I know from your position, obviously, you have to have that position. I do want to say that, you know, some of the people who were trying to do it were trying to do the best that they could for the to increase, you know, increase the position and the bag in the community. And again, I understand your position, and that's what you have to. That's what you have to say, obviously, and you know, and it's understood. It, but it, you know, it, again, it wasn't, it wasn't something that was, um, that had, uh, um, you know, manipulative or bad or anything. Yeah, no, I, I totally understand where you're coming from. I think like something like this sort of solution is a good short-term solution for holders on the first day, maybe day two at the most. I don't think exactly. it's viable to do it continuously forward because, um, I mean, at the end of the day, the communication has been the same for everybody. So um, I get it if it's our fault, but like at the same time, if people choose to do it on the last day, then they shouldn't expect the same rewards as the first day. But um, oh, yeah, I appreciate yeah. your words. And obviously, like yeah. Brian will agree that, um, you know, we, we, we always try to do what's best for the community as a whole because, don't, don't you know, think, your success is our success overall at the end of the day. Yeah, don't think for one second that I have not been frustrated by the last 24, 30 hours, whatever it's been. Um, I understand the community has been frustrated, but don't think for a second that I haven't been 200 to maybe 500x, you know, more frustrated by, by what we've, you know, by, by the last 24 odd hours. So, yeah, let, let's just play through with it. Um, thanks again for the um, for the for the positive vibes and the appreciation there. So we'll, we'll make sure that everything goes uh, goes properly. And um, and like you said, uh, we'll, we'll make sure that yesterday's high price that everyone does get that high price. Um, so we'll have to manually adjust that from a blockchain level, um, you know, and um, That'll be that'll be shown as soon as we have that transaction page and leaderboard live. So just allow us the next 24, 48 hours for for to us um, for us to dot those I's, cross those T's, and and you'll be able to see um, you'll be able to see that. So yeah, thank you. And uh, no problem. Thank you so much, Brian. Cool. Um, look, that I didn't. You know, this um, I don't think there's uh, too much more else to say. I think me and uh, Jason have said what needs to be said. Um, and uh, yeah, look, we'll we'll make sure we keep on updating you um, with the progress going forward. And uh, and that's it. Um, look, um, still 
even though I'm frustrated by by what has transpired, I'm still totally positive. I'm totally happy with the amount that's already been sacrificed, near to 19 million, and I'm sure it's you know that's only going to be a, a very first stepping stone as to what we will achieve um, by the end of that 30 days. So, Jason, I'll turn it off. To, I'll turn it over to you for any last words, and that'll be the end of this uh, Q&A. Yeah, mate. Cheers. Um, yeah. I mean, the best thing is, like, if you have any concerns, the team's out there, they help you. Um, all I would do is, um, you know, obviously a, a slightly more uh, positive mind frame, like, in terms of communication. Don't think we're ignoring you. Everything's kind of going to get eventually answered in the wash, and we're going to try and uh, be as responsive as possible in terms of that. If there is a slight lack in communication as such, just know that, obviously, we're working extremely hard uh, with our development team to make sure, you know, obviously the results are, are met in terms of that. And it's, um, you know, we're, we're paving the way for the future, so things are only going to get up from here. Yeah, so in summary, guys, just have confidence and trust that, that things will work out okay. And like Jason said, sometimes there's through the wash, you know, that it does take numerous hours for us to literally address a specific issue. Um, but just know that we're on top of it and we understand what these issues are, but we just don't want to be saying anything until we actually have um, something that's actually concrete that we can um, give to you guys like like today has been. Um, so, yeah, um, we'll keep on updating you. Um, thanks, everyone, for your tremendous support, and especially within our Discord. Um, there's been a lot of members who are continuously helping um, our other users as well to get to, to, to know how to connect and, you know, walking through the actual steps to how to use Trust Wallet, how to use Wallet Connect, and posting screenshots and actual walkthroughs. So don't think that does not go unrecognized. I'm truly grateful and so happy that we do have the community level of support that we do have. Um, so, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, we'll, uh, we'll keep on updating you and uh, we'll talk to talk to you guys again, um, possibly doing another one of these Q&As um, again tomorrow. Um, and um, hopefully we're in a bit of a better frame of mind and, and everyone's a lot more positive. So thanks to everyone again.